the budget for us, uh, the veto was this morning, and talking to some of the council members, they said they, uh, they believe they may have the, uh, the votes to override it. Your thoughts? Well, they got to do what they think they need to do. But once again, from my vantage point, it's a mistake. Um, I think uh, cutting $100 million out of the budget last year and $200 million this year to add another $50 million um, will put too many of our people in a worse situation than they find themselves in today. And um, there's no way that we're going to be able to take an additional $50 million cut uh, without impacting services, therefore jobs, therefore citizens and businesses. Um, what, what's the strategy to uh, get, get the, uh, for, or prevent the uh, override? I will talk to, uh, uh, to the city council members and try to convince them that uh, that's not the appropriate thing to do. I think it's too deep. Uh, I said I was open to compromise. I am. Um, but if they want to really take a position to make a political point by saying, you know, we overrode uh, his veto, uh, they have the right to do that. But I'm thinking about people. I'm not just thinking about dollars and cents and numbers. I mean, there are people that are hurting in Detroit big time. And there are a lot of people suffering because of the lack of services. An additional $50 million cut will impact negatively the services that we're trying to provide, which, which is ludicrous uh, for the citizens, I think. How important is this session coming up on Friday concerning the urban attendance with the governor? Well, I think that's very important uh, because uh, Detroit, the largest city uh, in Michigan, uh, even though we lost over the last 10 years over 200,000 people, we still are two and a half times bigger than any city uh, in the state. Um, and uh, we are the urban center, um, and, and I do think the governor is open-minded in terms of the need for cities like Detroit and other urban uh, cities in the city uh, or in the state of, of Michigan to do well. You had, oh, you had a victory in Lansing with the uh, special tax issue. Um, where are those legislative Lansing issues related to the budget? Where are they all right now? I think they passed the House uh, today. They go up to the Senate, I believe, next week, and I'm told uh, they will be adopted next week. So all the things that we've been saying about what we are, are, are doing uh, as it relates to our budget and revenue, where, you know, consistently people have been saying they're soft revenue, soft revenues. Nobody believed that we were going to get the pension to do what they did, either pension fund. Uh, nobody believed that we were going to get the legislature to do what they're doing. There are other things that we're working on. So all of the soft talk about soft revenue, I mean, is unreal. I mean, we're bringing things to the table now. Does that include the casino tax? That's the only thing that's open at this point in time. I think I need more time to get involved and talk about the casino tax. But if you, if, if a $20 million issue is going to stop um, a $3.1 billion budget, I mean, something is wrong with the way we're communicating. Thank you.